Hi, um, so today I wanted to share with you some of the most recent um, items that I've been getting for my beauty and skincare uh, routine. Uh, so, I don't normally wear makeup and I'm trying to learn how to wear makeup at the grand old age of 40. <laughs> so, uh, I decided that I was going to uh, learn how to do eyes because I have what's called a hooded eye and this is something I discovered I think about a couple of years ago which explains why whenever I try to do a wingtip eyeliner I get kind of like these weird lines over here because I have a hooded eye so I started reading up a lot of blog posts about how to deal with a hooded eye um, especially when you're in your 40s and I found out a lot of stuff the first of which was that in order to apply eyeshadow properly i needed to have um, a set of brushes for putting eyeshadows um so it turns out it's not a good idea to just use your finger uh, to do that so of course i contacted my friend uh, josie who's like amazing at doing makeup and i asked her to give me a recommendation because it was so overwhelming when i typed in eyeshadow brushes and all of these results came up and she recommended that i get um real techniques by sam and nick and i'd never heard of these before so i ordered these off of amazon and they arrived and they're very cute so i have them over here you get a cute little a caddy thing that they can live in. Um, I tried using these once and <laughs> I looked a little bit like a clown, but I'm committed to learning because this is something that I've never done before. But basically, you have this interesting little looking thing which is a mascara brush. So the idea is you put on mascara and then you comb it out, which I forgot to do today. Um, and then you've got, I don't know, these different brushes. They feel really nice and soft, though. The one time that I did use them, which was uh, the day before yesterday, except for this one. This one doesn't feel nice and soft because it's very pointy. And I tried to use some of the eyeshadow and it just, um, it just, it wasn't, it wasn't working at all. Um, yeah. Well, I basically need to learn a lot but they feel very nice and they look nice and they come with a little cute little paddy um they cost me 13 pounds which i wouldn't have bought if it wasn't for the fact that my friend recommended it and on amazon it has something like 2000 plus reviews i did find um an instruction video and i tried to follow it but <laughs> it didn't make a lot of sense for me but again i'm still new to this so i'm still learning but it's very cute i keep them in a cupboard they say that you're supposed to keep them on your vanity but i don't like when dust lands on things so i'm keeping them in my cupboard instead so we have that and then also on the topic of eyeshadow i was shopping in aldi and i found that they had an eyeshadow palette so i bought this one because it says it's smoky and i read somewhere that the aldi makeup stuff is urban decay dupes and urban decay is supposed to be a bit more expensive so i was kind of like oh this is a good opportunity for me to try out um something but as cheaply as is possible i had to pause there to open it because this is the first time i'm opening it i literally just picked it up when i went to um aldi to buy stuff for uh fajitas because we're having chicken fajitas for dinner tonight Ooh, nice look at that that's what it looks like. Oh, this feels very nice. In my opinion, as somebody who's, this is only my second eyeshadow palette. The first one, I bought it from a pound shop for a pound. Uh, so this is a significant upgrade uh, for me. Oh, wow. Okay, so it's got a mirror over there. There's some cellophane. You can see my messy background. <laughs> and then you've got the, um, the colors there and it does come with its own brush. So, given my lack of experience, I cannot tell you whether this is a good thing or not. I'm just going to have fun trying it out. And I'd rather play around with something that's cheap rather than something that's very, very expensive. But I like it that it's in a nice little case. Okay, so that's me sorted out for my makeup experiments wherein I learn how to do eyeshadow.
because I know how to put on lipstick, I know how to put on mascara. Yeah, so then I need to learn how to put on foundation and how to do my eyes. So I'm doing my eyes first. That's that one done. And then the other thing that I also got was mascara. I got a La Roche Posay Tolerain mascara. So I have very sensitive skin and I'm very sensitive to smells. And I struggled with finding a mascara that was easy to also take off and wasn't too too hard. I don't like it when it makes my eyelashes feel too hard or too spidery. And my sister recommended this and it is fantastic. So I've been using it for about a week now. And it's just very mild, very um, lightweight, and it comes on very easily. It comes off very easily when I wash it because I needed something that's very easy to wash. Because when it comes to my nighttime routine, I've got a very solid routine. I cleanse my face and I need something that comes off easily. It's got a lightweight wand. Yeah. And it doesn't smell bad at all. So I love it. I love this um, very much. So that's the La Roche Posay. Um, excellent if you are somebody who uh, doesn't like things that feel too heavy and you also want something that comes off easily. So this isn't waterproof or anything like that. So if it rains and I go out in the rain, I do get some panda eyes. Or the other day when I was laughing so hard that I had tears in my eye, afterwards I had panda eyes, but I didn't mind this because I you know, I was just having such a banging time, but it comes off so easily. And the next morning I don't have the, um, you know, the black dots of leftover mascara in my eyes, which means that it actually comes off. Whereas before the mascara that I had used, no matter how much scrubbing I would do on my face, I would always wake up the next day with bits of leftover mascara, but not so with this one. So that's fantastic. The other thing that I got was from Bonnie Shop. I love getting stuff from Body Shop because of the bright and colorful inside. So I've got two things to add to my skincare routine, okay? Um, I got the Drops of Youth Bouncy Sleeping Mask, and this thing is the bomb. I got to try it first because my sister had a little bit left over, and I tried it for over two weeks, and my skin just looked amazing. And basically... I use this um, three times a week as the thing that I put on my face. And it's just, look at, I also love the jar. I am such a big jar person. I like fancy jars. And this is made of glass and it's very heavy and it's green. And you can see the white. It's got a very mild fragrance. I can put up with it because I don't like uh, fragrance. So yeah, so this is what I got. Love this. So this is part of my nighttime routine and I only use it three times, um, three times a week. The other thing that I got is a cleanser, which is this um, Drops of Youth Liquid Peel Exfoliant. Now this thing is amazing. So you just get a little bit of it and you put it on your skin and you begin to rub it. And it's like a physical exfoliant because it removes the dead layer of skin as well as the dirt that's clogged in. So you can't use this every day because you know you, your skin will feel raw. You have to be careful when you start using this. But it is amazing stuff. And I use this once a week. I tried it again uh, through my sister. So I'm the sort of person that I'm not too keen to just try something that hasn't been recommended by somebody that I know because I've been burnt in the past, so I'm still a little bit like, uh. Uh, so I tried it. My sister had some and she let me try it and I loved it. And so I picked it up when they had a sale, actually. So it's pretty, pretty awesome. Yeah. So I also ordered some more things from Youth by Nature. And that's because I tried their lipstick uh, three weeks ago. And I loved it. So this is, um, I'm wearing the nude lipstick. I think it's called Blush Pink. But this lipstick is amazing because it feels like I've got lip balm on my lips. And, you know, honestly, I'd never experienced that before in my life. I'd never had a lipstick that felt like I'm putting lip balm on and it's got a nice color. So I went back to try and get a deeper shade because I do like this. This is a very light, barely there um, color shade on my lips. 
but then I wanted something else that was just a little bit thicker, so I ordered it. But look at their packaging. That's the box that it came in, and this is what I ordered. But they do like a really nice gold sticker there. In terms of packaging values, very, very high. And they've got like this little crepe tissue paper that has got nude by nature imprinted in it. You can kind of tell that this was packed by an individual. It's pretty awesome. Okay, and so I got three things because uh, they had a sale. They had a 40% off sale. Um, I got the Creamy Matte Lipstick in, what color did I go? I went with Sunset because I wanted something that was a bit more orangey and coral. And I also got the lipstick, which is a coral blush lips, lip gloss, sorry, lip gloss. Because um, I thought it would be nice to have some lip gloss. And I also decided to try out their mascara, uh, which is called Allure Defining Mascara. Um, so the packaging is very, very nice, very luxe. And they've got these rose gold um, so that's the mascara so exciting oh wow look at that wand oh my days it's not very watery you can't smell anything there's nothing right how do you use this this kind of feels like it's dry That's. Hmm. I can't try it on because I've got mascara um, on here, but it's a very bendy wand, which feels quite nice. I'll have to have a look at that. And then we've got the creamy matte lipstick. It's very, it's very slim. Really, very slim. Let's have a open oh <gasps> so fancy oh hello mm -hmm. okay so i've just wiped off the um lipstick that i had on before i'm just gonna try this mm-hmm goes on really well Kind of feels like I, I'm getting a suction cup. Oh, do you look at that? Oh, I love it. Mm hmm. It feels very moist as well. <laughs> I love it. So, this is the um, sunset. So, it's got like a really orangey tone, which is what I wanted. <laughs> okay. Um, and then we're going to open up the gloss, which is a coral blush, so very nude. So previously, my lipsticks that I had, they were more wintry colors, so kind of like your berries, your aubergine. Oh, look at that. Okay, so I'm just going to take this off so I can try on the lip gloss. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Listen to that sound. Okay. Interesting wand. Mmm. <laughs> feels very moist it's very subtle mm -hmm. love it nice addition to my lipstick uh, collection mm -hmm. okay, well thank you so much for watching um, if you enjoy lifestyle stuff and random things do subscribe and until I see you next time bye mm -hmm.